welcome. In this video, I'm going to be checking out this Crucial MX500 1TB 2.5 inch solid state drive. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So I'm eventually going to be putting this in my PlayStation 4, but I wanted to do some tests before I do that. So I'll be installing it in the Sabrent EC-UASP enclosure. So it's a pretty basic enclosure, but it's one of my favorites. So to get this open, I'll just slide it and open it like so. Let's get the hard drive out. Okay, so we have the hard drive. It looks like we also have a spacer of some sort. I don't think we're going to need that. And we have a manual. So the manual really just directs us to the website. So one thing to point out is the manual did mention firmware. If you do want to upgrade firmware on here, if it needs a firmware upgrade, that typically will not work in, a, in an enclosure like this. Usually you have to plug it into an actual computer. So to install this, I'll place it in here and there's this foam here. So I'll press it in and then I'll kind of compress the foam so this fits. Sometimes you need to take a little plastic pry tool or something. Put that fit in there nicely. Close that up. Now there is a switch on here. I'll switch on after I get it plugged into the computer. So let's head over to the computer and we'll run some benchmarks on this. I'm here at my early 2015 MacBook Pro. Now this is an older computer, but it supports USB 3. So it should be great for testing this. So I'm going to plug the hard drive in. I'll turn it on. We have a message. It's asking to initialize it. So I'll hit that. It's going to drop me into the disk utility. And I am doing this on a Mac, but you could do this on a PC also with the PC utilities. I'll go down here to the J Micron Media. That's my external enclosure. We can confirm it's the one terabyte drive. So I'll go up here and I'll hit erase and I'll name this to MX500. Now there's different file formats here. We'll go ahead and choose XFAT. XFAT will work on Mac and PC. I'll hit erase. Okay, that's done. I'll hit done. I'll close this. Now let's run some benchmarks. I'll open up Blackmagic Speed Test. I'll go to the gear in here. I'll select target drive. I'll choose the MX500. I'll hit start. So here we got 416 megabytes per second write, and we're getting just under 400 megabytes per second read. So it's not the fastest drive I've ever tested, but it's pretty good performance. So I'll stop this test. I'll close this. I'm going to open up software called Amorphous Diskmark. This is similar to Crystal Diskmark on a PC. I'll choose the MX500 and we'll run these tests. Okay, that test is finished. So you can see on the sequential reads and writes, we're getting similar results to the Blackmagic speed test. Then when we go to random, the writes are about a quarter of the speed, and then the reads are a quarter of the write speed. So the random performance is not going to be as good as sequential. And here we have the results for the IOPS. Let's quit this. Let's do one more test. I have a folder here with some disk images. It's about 22 gigabytes. Let's copy it and see how long it takes. So I'm going to do this in the terminal so we can see the results a little easier. And I have not opened these files so they're not cached. So I'll hit enter and we'll wait for the results. Okay, so it finished. So we can see here it was about 280 megabytes per second. So when we do those synthetic benchmarks, it's not going to give a good representation of what it's like when you're transferring large files or lots of files. Now 280 megabytes per second is still a good write speed for this old technology, but I just wanted to set people's expectations of what you can get out of this. So that's the Crucial MX500 2.4 inch solid state drive. So I like the performance out of this. I think this is gonna work well on my PlayStation 4. Of course, this would also work well in PCs or Macs, specifically older ones. As I'm telling you, the SATA drives are not the latest technology, but a drive like this can make a great upgrade for older equipment. Equipment. So if you're still using a spinning hard drive, you'll see a huge boost in performance if you go to a solid state drive like this. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please kick like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.